you take the f- <clears throat> points. Yeah, well, like I was arguing about this. Yes, that's who Dan Campbell is. You take those, you know, chances throughout the regular season. Yeah, if you miss it, okay, you can make that game up. You miss it in this situation, you can't make this game up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't lose and be like, oh, we know, might get bro. to the Super Bowl next game, right? No, that's not how it works. But the first one, that's got to be a catch. Josh Reynolds clearly dropped the ball. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, episode 68, I think. My name's Dante. To my left is Matt. Yeah, mama. Across from us in a smiley face hat is Jordy. And the dude about to do his hair, that's Derek. About to do. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. Fellas, I've got a question. I got an answer. Shout out to uh, Hayden, Hado, Hado, 069 Tag on him. Twitter. 69 is important. He said, would you rather have your team go to a Super Bowl and win, but you can't watch the game, or be able to attend the Super Bowl in the VIP lounge and get the whole service and everything but your most hated division rival wins. So, real quick, I've got one question. Now, we are probably each other's most hated division rivals, right? Do you guys hate the Browns most? Okay. Nah, I'd say it's it the Ravens. It's They've close. been more of a problem than... Uh, <coughs> he probably hates Browns fans more, but hates the yeah. Ravens organization Well, we more. hate the Steelers most in the division, but I just got a question. For my dude, hate it. Is this a free ticket? Like, do I get to go for free, or did I pay my eight grand? Oh, it's nine free. Grand? It's okay, no, so it's free. free. I feel like it's got to be free it's for the um, hypothetical. For cool. that question, yeah. I'm going to go first. Uh, my team will probably never make it to a Super Bowl anyway, so wouldn't know what that feeling would be like even in the hypothetical. So I'm just going to go and uh, watch the Steelers win, unfortunately. All right. Yep. Yeah, nope. I just, Gonna, I'm gonna I get feel incredibly like that's a wild answer. That's I'm a, gonna go get incredibly drunk inside of that booth, look like Jason Kelsey with my shirt off, probably fall out into the stands and miss the rest of the game. So I won't even know they won. I'm well, you get st- VIP too, so you get to like go down onto the field and shit. Sweet, sweet. That's crazy. Mike Geese just fell. <laughs> uh, I didn't even touch him. They the Steelers can go ahead and win, and I won't watch. <laughs> Yeah, Matt got kids. He knows what it's like to not watch a game. <clears throat> not really. I just record them. Like, do you just record sh- and watch it later, or do you never get to see that game? No, he, <laughs> he me records or, and then he stops texting me. Me or the hypothetical? Hypothetical. Like, do you just never get to see the game? Like, I feel like it has to be you. Like, because just watching it an hour after, like, if you recorded it, it's like you still it's got not to that experience bad. it. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if you never get to see that game ever. I, I just, sh- I just shut my time. phone off. And oh. wait to go watch it. So, for the sake of the hypothetical, you never get to watch that game. It's I just, still want is, would just rather have the Steelers win. It's at the bottom of the Hudson with Mason Rudolph's audio. Huh? Yep. <laughs> the video clip. Of yeah, the you Super can't Bowl. get it. You can't get it. Okay, so Steelers win. You're not watching it, Jordy. Yep, Steelers win. I'm not watching it. Yeah, I mean, there was only one wrong answer, and Dante chose it. <laughs> so you will never get the experience going to a Super Bowl a day. It's in the your hypothetical, life. bro. It's a hypothetical. Yeah, for yeah, sure. But why would I choose to watch the Browns win the Super Bowl? Oh. I don't care if it's a VIP or not. Bro, I, I watched go there. Like I'd rather my team win and me not watch. I look at it like this. Whoever they're playing, that's what jersey I'm wearing. See, this is how I look at it. I'm gonna end up watching the Steelers probably win a Super Bowl in my lifetime. So why not be able to at least go to a Super Bowl, which I'll never experience? VIP, free food, free drinks, bro. They got mad filet mignon and lobster tail that I'm getting for free. <laughs> what? Like, of course, I'm going. I'm just not looking at the game. I'm gonna have my back turned to the field the whole time. I'm watching the game. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm just lying. Cheering for the other team. Yeah, 100%. It's, but you already you know got in your take. head that like the Steelers are going to win. For sure. But I'm probably going to watch them win a Super Bowl in my lifetime like <clears> I already <throat> have. Think about it. I've already seen it happen once. Yeah. So it was like. Okay. Go watch NFL films to your eyes bleeding. Give me another question. If you're a real NFL fan, you would not wear other teams' jerseys or let, <laughs> the, other, <laughs> let the other division or the other rival win in Thanks. the division. I'm wearing so. a Jeff Gordon jersey today. What's wrong with that? You said wear another team jersey. So I was like, hey, I'm wearing a Jeff Gordon jersey. So you can't claim to be a Bubba Wallace fan. I'm a or Bubba Wallace. Dale Earnhardt fan. Yep. Yeah, they were rivals. I'm a Bubba Wallace fan. No, well, I can tell you Jeff, Jeff Gordon, Gordon probably did not like Bubba Wallace. I'm rooting for everybody black. Jordy, where are we going, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no. He's like, oh, why are you throwing it to me? I told you that you were doing the episode today. You say that every week. I ain't listening. <laughs> I have no topics. I have none either. I've been on the low. I've been taking my time. Wow. All right. Well, we watched the fucking Ravens blow it again. All right, so let's talk about the Ravens-Chiefs matchup. Did that game go how we thought it would go? Yeah. In my yeah. eyes, yeah. 
Well, once again, I'm the only one. <laughs> well, you, no. you're the only one that chose the Ravens out of everybody. That, but too. that game ended so sad. Like, the Chiefs didn't even score in the entire second half. Also, I'll be for real. It didn't go how I thought it was going to go. Lamar, maybe he's not quarterbacky enough oh boy. to win a playoff game. He had some terrible throws. <coughs> he, he just won a playoff game. I, I mean, know. it was against the Texans, but... Yeah. It, it was not a very good performance in the playoffs. He's what, no. two and four now, yeah. all time in the playoffs? There was no pressure in that Texans game, though. <sighs> no pressure. They were supposed to win that game. I, he's playing against a better defense, I would say. Jordan the whole time during, <laughs> during our group a chat. Hater, bro. He, Jordan was putting in overtime, bro. good throws, too. Every throw, he, was he putting said, in what overtime. the fuck was that? Hey, the devil <laughs> no, I works said, hard, what the but fuck? Jordan works no, harder. <laughs> no, I said, what the fuck was that? When it was the third down and one, and Lamar ran five yards back. Motherfucker, you were like another bad throw. But but I did throw. say there's Who a good throw too. To? Hold on, okay. This motherfucker, we can't go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> but I have a question though. I know Matt kind of brought it up. Might have the Dak conversation. I know Dak won less playoff games than Lamar. But is Lamar that good of a quarterback if he can't perform in those games? Yes. You've seen the picture I sent you, right? He's yes. that. He's that quarterback. Hold on. So and the. Uh, I got one of my wife's hair stuck on my face. As the leader of the, the races club, oh my god, I still think Lamar's a good quarterback. I don't think he's a <laughs> Did terrible Did you just quarterback. personally say you're the leader of the races club? According to uh, Instagram and TikTok, Instagram. yes. So. I, don't, I don't think we can compare Dak and Lamar yet for the simple fact of Lamar hasn't had half of a team that Dak Prescott has had during these playoff runs. Lamar hasn't had uh, an Ezekiel Elliott. He hasn't had a C.D. Lamb. He hasn't had um, – uh, he had Mark Andrews. He's better than his, his tight end. But I don't think Lamar's offense is <coughs> nearly as good as Dak Prescott's offenses that he's been in the playoffs with. So I don't think offensively is that fair of a, a in, comparison. Until recently, their defenses haven't been comparable, though. No, The Ravens' have, defenses have been have, way better. For sure. But, like, if I'm looking at their individual performance, like just as quarterbacks, like – Dak looked bad versus the Packers. Lamar looked bad versus the Chiefs, who are now going to the Super Bowl. Which one would you rather? A lot of people didn't have high hopes on the Chiefs, though, because in the middle of the season they had all those problems oh, they, going but that's on. The thing, I mean, they were underdogs. Yeah, yeah, they were underdogs, but us having high hopes and the Chiefs being the Chiefs are two different things. Because, Mahomes being Mahomes. Like, going back to what Matt said, Baltimore mm-hmm. didn't have any pressure in that first round beating the Texans. Guess who didn't have pressure in their first round matchup either? <clears throat> is Lamar that guy, though, is my question. I think he can be. He doesn't have a good offensive roster, bro. He doesn't. Like, we could say it all we want. He had a half Mark Andrews. Isaiah Likely's from Florida Atlantic. Who but him is, before the is last he just years. a guy? Isaiah Likely, he's proven that he's he can be a starting tight end. In that he can NFL. be a starting tight end. You're allowed to say he's good. Yeah, I, I, for your argument, I think he's Isaiah, good. Likely, yeah, is Isaiah good. Likely's good. Absolutely. But he's not Mark Andrews. <clears throat> he might be better. Or Mark Andrews is hurt now. He could be better. I mean, but, but prime Mark Andrews, no. But that's that's besides the yeah, point. Anyways. But is Gus Edwards or Justice Hill anybody? Gus Edwards led the league in almost led the league in touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. Yeah, a Jamal Williams year where he's getting it at the one yard line. Hey. No, don't A. I blame the whole loss. The whole loss is, comes down to the offensive game plan to me. There we go. There it is, Matt. The offensive game plan was garbage. You I mean your identity is a run the football. They you're ran. in. You're in a seventeen to ten game. What are we doing? They yep. ran the football with uh, their running backs six times that game. Ran the ball six times with their running backs. Lamar ran the ball eight times, which is normal. Zay Flowers had two carries. Gus Edwards averages twelve carries over his. <laughs> I was last gonna five say games. I seen like a breakdown of their yeah amount of running back rushes every week, and then they were yeah. all twenty plus, and then six. Yeah, exactly. So. Gus Edwards averaging 12 carries a game. He got, what, three? <clears throat> what about Zay Flowers? He got three. Choking the game. Or not choking the game, but he had some questionable That was the most plays. passes Lamar threw in a game besides one this whole season. How many attempts? 37. How many completions? Probably 15, 12. 20. That's that's the problem. Like the game plan was garbage. You leaned on your quarterback play, which is cool. If you're gonna you're you're in the play a game, lean on your best player. I understand that. But you are a running team. 
you averaged the most rushing yards per game in the National Football League. What have you done all season? Why Ran did you the fucking ball? abandon the run completely in a 17-10 game, like Matt said, where the Chiefs hadn't scored in the first half? You're not down two touchdowns. It's not crunch time in the second half when the Chiefs have the ball, still didn't score. It's not crunch time in the fourth quarter at the beginning of it when the Chiefs still haven't scored. Like, it's not like they were out of the game and they had to throw. Like, John Harbaugh just shit down his leg. <clears throat> Mark caught his own uh, That was a crazy play. Yeah, that was a that nice was play. That was one of his best plays. Like, Even I'm not it trying to. Like wild to say. Like, <sighs> say, it. say it. I'm sorry. I'm going to seem like a hater either way. Do it. But this is, he went 15 for 19 against the Browns, and they won 28 to 3. Mm -hmm. He had 186 passing yards. Yeah. You don't. They don't have to lean on him to you win. Don't you don't have to it. pass the ball. Yeah, you can say it. They That's one of the best on defenses him. in the league, and you just you threw 19 times and won by 25. So, question, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. If you have no offensive weapons and you're not putting up numbers but still beating teams 28-3, to three, how are you doing that? Ryan. You do have offensive weapons. He was saying that the offensive weapons that we're comparing are better. Yeah, his offensive weapons. He's saying that C.D. Lamb and Tony Pollard are and yeah, yeah, Jake Ferguson as a whole are better than no. I agree. That was back to my Dak conversation, just because Dak gets so much hate. Well, but comparing to the offensive team that he was also playing against, that Chiefs offensive team, Lamar Jackson is not has weapons, crazy better than the Ravens. <clears throat> yeah, so the, you might argue the Ravens have better skill position players than the Chiefs. So the Chiefs definitely take out the they don't have better weapons than um, the the Ravens. I would yeah. take the Ravens offensive weapons as a whole, but Kelsey. And Patrick Mahomes drastically trump yes. anything you have on the other side. It's like the Tom Brady Gronk thing. You have one Tom and one at anybody. each position. Lamar is top five to some people, not even. Mark Andrews is top five. And then after that, you have bottom 50s, bottom 100s. You know what I'm saying? You have yeah. one and one. One of the greatest tight ends ever live, and Patrick Mahomes. We're going to start the conversation because I have a question. I think he's the greatest of all time. Is Patrick Mahomes already in the GOAT conversation yes. right now as we speak. Where is he ranked all time? I is think, he top three to five? Are we, are we doing that now or? Right now. <laughs> right right now. I mean, like, we, we I, were to, we done? We talked about the Ravens, so let's <laughs> move to the Chiefs side. Uh, I think there's an argument for, I think there's an argument for two or two and three, but he's not touching one yet. No. I mean, the argument I would give him over Brady in the beginning of his career is because the Patriots didn't win those Super Bowls because of Brady. Brady right? was game managing his first couple years. A lot of Patrick Mahomes' wins, it's because of Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, it's for sure. It's because of the way he's playing. So, I mean, early in his career, he's better than Brady so far. So, but if, I'm saying oh, projecting, for so far, yeah. projecting wise, Projected, I think he's going to yeah. be the, the GOAT. Honestly, I think he's already better than Brady. I think he's better than Manning. I think he's better than all those quarterbacks, he, in my opinion. There's, there's. Yeah, I think he has an argument for two or three, but not one. I'm with. Everybody else, I mean, not it's, one yet. It's hard to compete with. Seven it's just not one yet. Yeah, he got seven Super Bowls. There's nothing you can. It, there's. I think he. I think he's a better football player. That's what I'm saying. I think as far as like talent, he's the best. Yeah, football I think player. Patrick like, Mahomes is a better football player. So that's that's what I was going to ask. Is like when you say he's go, not the you goat mean though. Like accolades and talent. Like he's not the greatest. We we love this. We love this argument. Had, yeah. Yeah. Greatest and best are different, bro. Yeah. Like you could be better than somebody and not greater though because of their accolades. Like. It, I agree. It's just what it is. Like, is he better? He can be, though. He yeah, very well I mean, can be. Honestly, I don't think, eventually. You can't give it to him because he's I think even played. if he gets, like, five Super Bowls, I think. That was my yeah. That was my next question. I, was I think ask, you still give it to him. Does, depending on how many, like, MVPs and stuff like that, he doesn't have to get seven to be better than Brady, I don't think. I agree. You don't have to get the amount of rings to beat them. <clears throat> yeah, no, I agree. That's what That was going to be my question. Is, I think he's he better, though. It? I think he's better too. I think a lot of people would agree with that. I I don't think you can like heavily disagree with that at all. Like if I, you if you're choosing one to have on your team, who are you choosing? You choosing mm. Mahomes or Brady? Mahomes. I yeah, I agree. I think he can Oopsie. just make more happen. Tom Brady came into the league in 2000. He didn't play until 2001. He didn't have his first 4,000 yard season until 2005. It was 4,100. Yeah, yeah 2,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. His first five years. Patrick Mahomes threw for what five thousand is like second year, yeah. <laughs> was it no? That was his first year, I think it was. Well, they're just different guys. They just played. lean. They just lean on him, and it's an offensive game. Yeah, I'm first not year starting. Yeah, yeah, first year as a start. I'm not talking about when we caught like a glimpse. Yeah, <clears throat> Jordan, get off Twitter. 
So, yeah, I'm on Twitter, but <laughs> it, it, it has some relevance to the argument. I like to hear it. Let me hear it. Watch, not the we'll, caption. We'll pull it up. The caption's just kind of there because it's Twitter. funny as hell. But Brady can still sling that bitch. Man, of course he can. Bro, he's one year removed. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> he's in a fucking ballroom full of billions. That's see the those? greatest quarterback Listen, of all yeah. time, bro. That's like if you hand Michael Jordan a basketball from a three point line in a full suit and being surprised if he splashes it. Like <laughs> he's making like a, a fifteen be. yard pass. You ever see those Brett Favre Levi commercials? That dude was slitting in the you backyard. Ever see them, that Brett Favre. Fucking yeah, yeah, that, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> no, no, no. This guy's in him and him now. All right, we got to move on to the next I game, I didn't know man. what wild shit you were I feel like we're going to spend a little bit more time on this, this game. This is making me hot as fuck. We got to talk about the Lions and the 49ers, man. Whose fault is it? Um, CJ Gardner-Johnson. For talking that. <laughs> Motherfucker was waving in the second quarter. That's crazy. <laughs> I hate that, dude. That's crazy, crazy. You guys see George Kittle at halftime said, I can't wait to say that they had us in the first half. Not going to lie. <laughs> He's a troll. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah, so who do we want to put blame on? Because there was, there was some interesting comments on the YouTube page. Dude told me I didn't know ball because I said it was Dan Campbell's fault. I'm... T- you take the fucking <clears throat> points. Yeah, well... Like, I was arguing about this. Yes, that's who Dan Campbell is. You take those you know, chances throughout the regular season. Yeah, if you miss it, okay, you can make that game up. You miss it in this situation, you can't make this game up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't lose and be like, oh, we might get to the Super Bowl next game, right? No, that's not how it works. But the first one, that's got to be a catch. Josh Reynolds clearly dropped the ball. He had two big drops. That's what I'm saying, but the one was on fourth down. Yeah, Yeah, of course. The play play was there. The drive has continued. He dropped the ball. Yep. Um, I'm not saying what, it's his fault, but what like, what the, the fuck are you doing? What about the other questionable calls I would say about Dan Campbell <clears> when <throat> the points are there? I'm putting the blame I'm on Dan Campbell. That was it right there. That was the fourth down. I, I That's when you kick the field goal. They threw it to Josh Reynolds. He had a catch and he dropped it. I agree that, you know, it was a 48 yard field goal that it would have been. It's not a gimme. No, right. I understand. But, dude, you have to take the points. And especially late, you take the field goal, like when he's trying to score that touchdown with under a minute 30 left. You take the field goal first whenever you get in range, and then you try to kick that onside kick and then get the ball back. Yeah. So it saves you more time instead of you wasting that time to try to get a touchdown, in my opinion. I, th- I think it goes to Dan Campbell. Like, I think the blame has to go to him because, like, we know who he is. He's a gambler. You know what I mean? He has at 18 on a blackjack table. He's saying, hit me. Like, he wants blackjack. But the problem is, is you're up 24 to 10, okay, on the 49ers, 28. It's fourth and two. That was Josh Reynolds' drop. Okay, you're up 14. You go for a field goal there on the 28-yard line. Probably make it. That was Josh Reynolds' drop? That was Josh Reynolds' drop. They were on the 28-yard line when they got that turnover on downs. Okay, so that changed Yeah, but the imagine game. they get that. Right. You run five more minutes off but, the clock and score oh, yeah. a touchdown. But let's just and talk that, about taking the points, though. Let's just talk about <clears> taking <throat> the points for a second. I, I agree with you, though. <clears throat> if you do get it, he looks like it's one of those things where it's high risk, high reward. Yeah. You look like a genius or an idiot, possibly. The play is there, though. Right. It, it, it was. was in his hands. It, it executed perfectly. But let's talk about the win being there. Because now you go up 27 to 10, right? So then, now, fast forward through the game, the 49ers are up 27 to 24 with seven minutes left. Right. Game not out of reach. Detroit has the ball fourth and three from their third. Kick okay, it. so that's an eighteen. That field. one, that's I a, think he should have. Is kicked. that a forty-eight yard field goal or forty-five yard? Is it fifteen or eighteen? Yards? I have no issue with what is it? What is wrong? The when you when you go for a field goal, they're at the thirty-yard line. Is it a forty-five yard or is it eighteen yards? Or Where were they yards? at? On the thirty. On the thirty. <clears throat> so it was like a forty-three yard field goal. Okay, so you have a forty-three yard field goal with seven minutes and thirty-two seconds left. You have a chance to tie the game. With seven minutes left. That one I think they should go for. The first one, I have no issue. You're up 14. Bro, I'm trying to I'm trying to fucking end you. But that's the thing. I'm and going for it and I'm trying oh, to end yeah. you. I disagree with going for both because like on the second I don't, one. I don't agree with going for the second one. Yeah, the Tie second the game one, at 27. Yeah, yes. because 45 that, yard field goal. Now you're essentially giving them the ball. At the 30 yard line. At the 30 yard line, okay? Mm-hmm. You still got to drive them. Ra- rather than kicking a field goal. Okay, misses it. You give them the ball in the same spot, obviously. Right? No, you don't give it to him at the thirty. You're giving it to him at the forty-five. No, you get it's it a forty-five. It's a forty-three-yard field goal. Yeah, but you get it from the spot of where they kicked it, or the spot of where 
where it was snapped. Where the end zone is 10 yards. Where it was snapped. I understand that. You get, you get where, where the ball snapped. was snapped at the 30 yard yeah. line. Okay, where the ball was. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was. Okay. The 10 be, yards is the end zone. Right. Then it's 17 yards. The <clears throat> end zone's 10 and the kicker's seven yards back. Okay. That's what that's what I was asking earlier as far as like how many yards. Oh, I thought it? he was only like four yards back. No, okay. There's seven. Okay. The so kicker's seven, but the holder's only four, right? Seven. And the holder is seven. Oh. Kicker takes a couple steps from that. Okay. So even 47 yard field goal, I prefer if you if you don't got faith in your kicker, cool. Try to get a punt and pin them at, you know, in the five, in the ten. Kick a sky. Like, you know what I mean? Like, try to pay, get it out of bounds at the ten-yard line. Like, make them drive 90 yards, waste time. And then guess what? Now if they score, they did milk a lot of time or you get a turnover. Your defense has been playing good. Like, I just think that was I don't think bad management. See, I don't Dan think Campbell. the punt was – I don't think the punt was even in the question. I think Hell it was – No. no it, it was the fact that there, there was no game plan for a punt. There was game plan for – yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm going for it. Yeah. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, there was... I don't know. But it's like he didn't have options. He yeah. had options. I well, guess to give Dan... No, you're not punting from the 30. No. To give Dan Campbell credit, I guess their their kicker was 9 for 20. So 45% from 48 plus yards. So... He's inside 48. I mean, I don't... Yeah. I mean, that's what this dude wrote the stat as. So <coughs> at the time, it might have been a 48... Considered a 48 yarder. So... You look at that, you're like, ah, 9 for 20. It's not that great yeah, of a percentage. Yeah, but that, it all depends. I would was go for the one before that. 55? Like, 48 k- plus is very <coughs> broad. You know, give me the one from 46 to 50. Or I'm kicking that, that one. I'm kicking the field goal, bro. You're still kicking it? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm kicking gonna that one, that. but I'm I'm going for it on the first on one. On the first one. Okay. If I'm up 14, fourth and two, inside my 30-yard line, I am going for it. Or how about this? Averaging eight yards a carry the entire game. Mm-hmm. How about instead of throwing the ball, you live and die by what you've been doing all game, running the ball well. I was gonna say they were running it on, <clears throat> you got on like David, long third you, downs all game and getting it. You got David Montgomery who, or no, Jameer Gibbs. I think it was like third and thirteen, got a first down yeah. by a mile, got like a twenty yard run. You know why they run on third down, right? Because you're expecting a pass. Because they're going for it, no matter what. Oh yeah, on fourth, <laughs> but like on fourth. Yeah. Even on fourth and three, fourth and two, like, like listen, river. Jared Goff isn't a bad quarterback, so I don't mind you putting the game in his hands. And he threw it to Amon Ra. He threw it to the number one. You lo- lived and died by your number one. I even like a run better there. Like, if you get stuff to live with it, you've been averaging eight yards a carry. Like, I don't know. Bro, <clears throat> like, Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery have been balling that game. Yeah, I like I like the play on fourth and two. They, they executed it perfect. You just dropped it. No, nah, that wasn't the Reynolds drop. Um, the second one wasn't Reynolds drop. Reynolds drop was the first one. Yeah, no, that's that what I'm saying. For. Oh, I'm talking about the second one that they, they could have ran when it was fourth and three. Yeah. Like, so, I have a question. So you guys played sports, right? You no should matter, run anyways. The clock. D1, going. baby. Yeah. No Jesus matter Christ. what sport you I play. I am a D1 athlete just in case people want to sit here and check my credentials. I went Division One for basketball. No, he didn't. Google. Why are you going to lie like that? Anyways. You're lying. Anyways. You're supposed to keep up the lie so it sounds good. You guys played on sports teams. Your coach, after a loss, let's say whatever championship game it would be for in your sport, he goes in and says, I told those guys, this may have been our only shot. Like, yeah. we might not get back here again. I don't want to fucking hear that right after I lose. Like, what do you mean that's our only shot? It's Especially up. with those four rookies that they have. They have Jameer. They have. He's trying to fuel the fire, though. Well, it is be, a, it's that, a harsh reality. It like, depends how you take it. You no, I, I agree with him because you only get so many fucking shots in the NFL to even make it to the AFC or NFC championship game. Shout out, game. Matt, for the tweet of the year. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you had. But one what I'm saying is like. I think he was implying that he had one shot. One, shot. <laughs> one opportunity. <laughs> to seize everything they'd ever wanted. <laughs> but how do you guys feel like if your coach is like, hey, man, we might not get here again. I mean, you don't want to hear that. That's like, going to be my fire to prove him wrong. Yeah. Like, the hell we ain't. That's when you just... You, you you're going to be soft or you're going to take that shit as motivation? It sounds like he's soft right there for a second. No, nah, like like it sounds like he's more doubting himself. Yeah, it sounds like he's not doubting him, himself or his team. In my eyes, as a player, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Reverse psychology. But yeah, I agree. It's going to make me play harder. and make yeah, me I'm about it. to prove his ass wrong. Yeah. We're going back. I mean, isn't there like a wild stat that like teams who... Uh, like? Like, they make it to the Super Bowl. Like, their chances of making it to the Super Bowl next year is like... I know they didn't make it, but oh, I'm saying, like, low. isn't this... Like, so, like, he's saying, like, hey, man. <laughs> I think the only teams to really... chance. <laughs> Y'all fucking blew it. There what, was the only a, teams a to really do teams it? I've seen that were like, oh, well, don't worry, we'll be back next year. And that did It was like the Bills. 
uh, a bunch of like just <laughs> dude, never fucking a bunch it. of teams that are like, we'll be back next year, and then how many just never get there? I'm gonna keep it real with you though. They low key had no business even being in that game. I agree. Their their defense is so fucking bad. They're, but their defense stepped up though in like, the first half. Okay, true. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If they, like I've been saying for like four weeks now, that defense is. If ass. their DBs could catch, you take one IU touchdown. Yeah, oh off my the god, board. bro, that shit so, was fucking. And they have two more so, interceptions. There's that one, and they have another one on top of that too that they just blatantly dropped. Let's talk about the 49ers offense. We talked a lot about Detroit. Um, did you guys see what Fred Warner said after the game? No. Fred Warner was screaming, "Not bad for a game man." <laughs> Yeah, N- Bosa about, said the same thing. Talking too. about his boy. Now listen, they're caping for their guy. You have to. I, for sure, bro, you got to hype him I, up. Yeah, that's my it. boy. Yeah, of course, that's his quarterback, bro. Cry, Tia. Like, but let, let's talk about it. Brock Purdy had 267 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. He accounted for seven points. What was his completion percentage? Um, I don't know. I can I can pull it up. But uh, his team had 34 points. Okay, he has seven of the 34. I'm not hating on Brock Purdy by any means. But all I'm going to say is, is a la Cam Newton, 267 yards, one touchdown, one INT. Yes, he ran for first downs with his legs. Yes, he, he made good completions. He saved the game with his legs for He did real. save the game in that moment. Yeah. <clears throat> with his legs, twice. But to go out and act like Brock Purdy went out and won the game. <sighs> he was 20 for 31, 65% completion. That, that's a good game. He, a- he played a good game, but like... Are we gonna are we gonna sit here and like act like Brock Purdy went out and dominated? And his yards per attempt were eight point six. He's not just dumping the ball off. I mean, I'll be I'll be for real. Like if any other quarterback is in that system, even if he's a great quarterback, you're feeding it to McCaffrey. Yeah. You're feeding it to all those stars. So for like, sure all he those can stars only run the plays that are yeah. in front of you. You you're getting it to those playmakers. So no matter who's that quarterback there, I think everyone's gonna be like, Well, it's not him that's well, doing Brandon it. Brandon Ayuk doing caught this a to... ball that a dude had picked off dead to yeah. rights, and it flipped it. It to bounced his off his fucking helmet, yeah. dude. Like, how much of a bot are you? Yeah, like, and then he threw another pick that dude, like Jordan said, dude, it hit his hands. Brandon Ayuk turned into a DB, bro. The ladybug like, landed on his shoulder. My bro. dude, damn near put the seatbelt on after he batted the ball out of his hands. Like, <laughs> sometimes you got to do that for real. I mean, shit, I've seen I've seen it plenty of times, but I'm oh, just yeah. saying, like, Brock Purdy didn't play this magnificent game. He stepped when he needed to. Yeah, for sure. He did. Like, when he used his legs and ran for those first downs, gritty plays, good work. Yeah. But, like, them screaming, like, not bad for a game man. Brock Purdy's a game manager. They're hyping yeah, up their quarterback. Yeah, stepped up on their side. 100%. Hmm. 100%. Right, so I found the tweet. It said, don't sweat that all-time crushing did. loss on the doorstep of a Super Bowl. We'll be back next year and finish the job next time. Sincerely, 2015 Cardinals, 2017 Jags, <coughs> 2017 Vikings, 2019 Titans, 2020 Bills and 2020 Packers. Well, that's why he said. That's why he didn't say that. Yeah, I mean, I get it. So we don't even got to talk about Super Bowl matchups yet. We're gonna go ahead and just. Wait oh, yeah, we until, got next week. Yeah, we're so, gonna wait until next week to do that. Staying on that game though, is that the biggest choke job in NFL history? No, not in NFL history. No, you don't think it was, so. It was well, a I mean, pretty. It was Falcons, pretty, okay, yeah. The Falcons are there. <laughs> I'm about to say. Is that up there though? Twenty eight three. It's a, is it two? For the 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 scenery and like the game, what it means, yes. I would have to go back and look I'd at say some the, other games, but that Dolphins, it's up there. Dolphins Titans game this year in the regular season. That was a to where joke, that yeah. was a way worse, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, but the implications yeah. in this game but make the it a worse make of a, it worse. Yeah. But as a choke job, just yeah. watching a game, you don't know the implications of it. The Miami Tennessee yeah. one, I think, was worse than that. Um, but yeah, what so. was it? My audio just went out. All right, it's back. You are good? So I don't know. You sh- shout out to another guy uh, from Twitter, uh, my dude Steve. Don't know how to pronounce your name, bro. I'm sorry. Your last name? Y'all, y'all wanna, try it. Try yeah. it. Go Let ahead. me see it. It's like Howarth. Howar. Howarth. <laughs> Let me see. I'm stroking out. Oh, <laughs> While Dante's trying to do that, they got a, they oh. got a, my guy Rajon Rondo today. What would he do? He got in trouble. He got arrested for drug charges in Indiana. God damn it, what Rajon. Kind of drugs? He just has some weed. Probably in the car. just weed. Stephen well, Haworth. 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 Like I, the R keeps coming out before the W. <laughs> he got pulled over. You sound like Haworth. fucking Derek trying to say Baltimore. Nah. Baltimore. Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> you didn't see my comment? You no, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, he said, are you saying Baltimore or Voldemort? <laughs> remember when he was trying to say renegotiate? Was that in the Pick'em video? 
Or what? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I think so. You the said one I just you posted, said basically the, the Baltimore Ravens. I said you say Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> That's my inner clips. My bad. Yeah, Rondo oh, got shit. Rondo got pulled over uh, with weed, and then they searched his car and they shit. found drug paraphernalia and a gun. That he's not allowed to have. God, so let's let's make bad. free Rondo jerseys. Damn it, Rajon. Free Rondo shirts. 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 So does, shout he out to a, our does he have shits. a mugshot? Probably. So <laughs> let's get accent. on the Indiana. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, <coughs> Steve at all to me on Twitter. I don't even got to try to struggle to pronounce his last name yep. again. Uh, he says, I want a prediction of who's most likely to return to the playoffs next year and who's not making it back. <laughs> so... How about we do I was thinking about what, <laughs> one team from each, two teams from each a- AFC, NFC that we think isn't going to make it? You all right? Sorry. Yeah. I didn't think you was going to make it. I didn't either. <laughs> you breathing said, hard. Said, I didn't I think I, I was going to make it here. I didn't think I was going to make it. <laughs> so you want to pick two teams from the AFC, two teams from the NFC that we think will and won't make it next year or one each? I'm not picking seven teams each. I can. I was just going to like kind of spitball through because I had ideas like what? two. I know. I'm four, just saying. Eight. Matthew, I know. Okay, because a lot I'm of saying times, I'm not picking seven teams from the AFC and seven teams from the NFC. No, yeah. I said two that won't make. That's it. I was agreeing. I oh. said yeah, I'm not picking seven teams. Okay, each. I just didn't know where you came from with that. That's all. I didn't know where you came from. <laughs> Do you guys have my the mom's teams? vagina? <laughs> that's where that's I came wild. from, motherfucker. You came from your daddy's true. balls first. It's true, it's but true. that's I wild. do tell my son he came from my nuts. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, do you have your picks at least or no? No, no. Okay. Not at all. So, <laughs> honestly, the I think the AFC. I got mine. I kind of got mine with the AFC, the two teams that aren't going to make it. <laughs> that aren't going to make it? Are not going to make it. Or in our division. Both. And I think that Steelers and Browns, we thought in the beginning of the season, or like throughout the whole season, oh, if we can make the playoffs and we're going to get better next year. Bless, bless your you. soul. Get better next year. Bless your soul. Ah, you. shit. My um, we're going to easily make the playoffs again. I don't see that happening for either team, to be honest. So I don't think Pittsburgh or the Browns make it in the Ooh. AFC next year. Bam, 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 bam. Hot take. It, Damn. You got I don't think that's a hot take, to be honest. That shit's flaming hot. I don't Cheetos. think it's flaming hot. Cause Dang. Who's, your, who's yours, Matt, or for AFC? As you... Not making Swallow. it? Not, I didn't know what, what you had. Whatever you have. You want to know what I have? Hit me with it. <laughs> with your best shot. All right. I got you. Are we not supposed to take the layups here? Because, like, there's... You can, you can take whatever you take want. Take whatever you want. <clears throat> take what you want from me. Like, the Patriots ain't making it. Well, they no, weren't in the playoffs, we're Teach. We're teams that were in, in the playoffs, playoffs, in the playoffs this, year. this year. Okay, he said, I didn't know the that. Patriots ain't making that bitch. <laughs> you he right. was like, Cardinals, <laughs> Patriots, <laughs> Jets. <laughs> I didn't know. Jets are going to make it next year. All right. Okay. You chose them to win a Super Bowl. The Steelers are going back. That was back. different. Steelers are going back? Going back. Ooh. With Arthur Smith as their offensive coordinator. Whoever the fuck it is, I don't care. What two teams aren't going to make it back? I didn't give you two that are. I don't know. The Texans are also returning. Ooh, I can see it. CJ. The Bills ain't making it. They're Tough gonna, division. <clears throat> they're going to implode this year. Mm. And. Say it. Another team not making it. The Say Browns. It. Yep, I knew it. I was waiting for it. At least I got mine out of the way. I picked them already. I so. almost said the Ravens. I really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the Browns made it, though. Jordy, who you got All right, bro. You got chill. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the Browns won't make it. <clears throat> Haters. <laughs> Just being real here. So was I. See? <laughs> That's fine. I'm trying to think. The division winners were. <clears throat> Come on, I mean, brother. you guys will make it. <clears throat> you I got think the Bills will make it again. Dolphins, right. who's not making it? You got Dolphins, the Texans, Texans, Ravens, left. Ravens. Yeah, the Texans. Won't I'm not making it. it. No, I'm actually with you on that. Who's your two? I no. think the Texans won't make it back. Next I think the Colts year. with Anthony Richardson will probably win the division. I think that year. division is going to be a lot different next year. Fuck Jose. Um, it was I a think. one game. <laughs> Tyler, yeah, basically. basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think uh, the Jags will – they'll come back better, and I think the Colts will come back better. Um, I think the Texans will not make it to the playoffs next year, and I also think that – That's Steelers. right. Let me see you do it. Tank Bro, Dell. You, I'll be – I'm a Dell realist coming Browns back. fan. I will argue <clears throat> that we're not going to make the playoffs next year. We're making the playoffs next year. What draft pick did the Texans have? I'm the best predictor. I thought uh, the Browns. They have ours, but it's probably going to be like the. I thought they had a high one. 
20th, maybe, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think the Texans make it back next year, and I don't think. It's too many questions for the Browns. Fine. You twist them arm. me. The Browns won't make it I... next year. You like that? What is it? Indian arm burn? What the fuck? What do they call it? Indian yeah. burn. Yeah. Same thing. It's on the arm. Are you talking about Indians right now? Oh, do you know the why Texans they call it only have one pick? And no, it's why? the 28th. You don't know why they the call Texans it? only no. have one? Yeah, Tell they traded it. theirs away to Arizona, so they only have the Browns pick. Oh, okay. It's called an Indian burn. For so you what? Do it, you turn red. Oh. I don't know what the fuck they got from Arizona. Do you guys? Maybe they moved up. You guys know anyone? Said the David Johnson trade still fucking them? No way, bro. <laughs> no. That was like 2017. <laughs> I bet you they moved up in the draft last year, and we just don't remember. Oh, no, they, a really weird question. Go ahead. You guys ever play? I assume you guys didn't, but you know anyone that's ever <clears> played where you put like arm side to side, like this is my arm, and then Dante puts his arm right beside mine. Light a cigarette, put it between our bitch bitch's arms, and whoever pulls first loses. Wait, no. What? Wait. Oh, what in the wait. Latonia is going on here? I was just wait. curious. Wait. God That's all. damn it. No, no, Colombian County no, piece of shit. Curious. You guys idea. probably played Bloody Knuckles. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I did play Bloody Knuckles. Absolutely. Bloody Knuckles. But wait, hold on. Let's go back. In school. Let's go back to this WBF. Huh? Explain that one more time. So... I have my arm like this, right? Mm-hmm. You basically do the same thing with your arm. Yeah, We're look, connecting look, look, look. Them. Yeah, look, like, like that. Like this, light a cigarette, like put that. it in between. Whoever moves like their that. arm first loses. Yep. Yeah, that's WBF for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ever play Mercy, too? Yeah, I play Mercy. Yeah. Lamborghini Mercy? All right, anyway. But so I, I got off track. That's idea my bad. White Boy Fun right there. Yep. Um, okay, so the NFC side. Wait, Trash Fun. It's me. Who do we think is going to make it from the NFC? Make it or won't make it? Won't make it. Did I get mine who I think is gonna make it for sure? I say I say we do won't make it. Okay, who won't make it from the NFC that made it this year? I don't know what it was. What was his question? Make it and not make it? Yeah, both. That's a lot. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. He ditched us on duty the other night, so it's cool. Yeah. We owe him one. Who? Anyways, do you Steve. have your two? Yeah, I can't Steve believe who? you guys made me get on for that. Steve. You who? were playing regardless. That dude? Yeah. Okay. What? The dude from Twitter wanted to play duty? Mm-hmm. But he didn't? No, he ditched us. He to play ranked instead. So I, don't know, I, res- we I respect had, the grind. Who, who is he? Six. We did. Somebody watches the show. <laughs> you make that face. <laughs> All right. I don't think the Rams make it next year. Ooh. And I don't think the Buccaneers make it next year. Ooh. Ooh. People didn't think the Bucks were going to make it this year. <clears throat> yeah, I'm with you. You agree with those two? Yeah. I mean, looking at. The I Packers, think the Vikings make it. The the Packers go back. The Lions are they're probably going to be in our Oh, shit. Again. So you're going to say three from the same division? Again? You think Kirk? We did it. We sent three from the same Kirk division. Kirk might not go you back. You think Kirk getting that two, two-year two 90 mil? Yeah. That's what he's asking he for. He always gets it. He always gets it. Nah, bro. He got franchise tag like three years in a row. Do you remember for how much? Well, yeah. Like 40 it's franchise million tag. Time. Yeah, that's what the tag is he, for. So what I'm saying is he getting 40 mil a year no matter if you want to give it to him over five years or one year. Yeah. Kirk is getting his money. I need to look up how much money Kirk Cousins has made, bro. For he has long. been heisting the NFL. But Jordy? yeah, I got uh, those two teams. It's me. Jordy? I don't think the Rams will make it next year. You don't okay. or you do? No. Okay. Rams and... The fucking ears. <laughs> well, I think that was so funny. <laughs> Damn. Boy. It really depends what what happens in the NFC North, but I could see the Lions not making it next year either. Hot take. The Packers <laughs> in over the ramp or over the uh, Lions. <clears throat> what about the Bears? No. Okay. Just. <laughs> um, I I think those are. My three that I was gonna cho- I was gonna choose Rams for sure. I don't think are gonna make make it again. I mean they might, but Rams I don't think are. And that's between the Bucks and Lions. I can see the Lions are not making it next year. Dang. Um, so I'm I'll, I'll switch it up. I'm a I will be a Detroit hater. Lions and Rams are not gonna make it next year in the NFL playoffs. Sheesh. Isn't that exactly what I said too? Yeah, that's, that's uh, okay. yeah. By the way, Kirk I said I was gonna be a hater with you. 2016, 2017 only made 24 million, not 40. I stand corrected. Derek, you said you had some games for us. I have a game. Also, <laughs> a little, I don't know. Had a little funny fun. <coughs> Jordan kind of brought up like a top five. I don't know if you guys did. Oh it or not. yeah, let's do the yeah the top yeah, five. Jordan, if you want, I gotta pull oh, yeah. a couple things up because okay, I have so. something that goes with it. I'm not okay. gonna do mine 
because me and you talked about this already. Yeah, that's fine. So I won't do one because like I could easily just like there. Go ahead. I'm not gonna lie. I only have top three, so. <sighs> I'll, I'll I'll need a little bit of help with my uh, top five. Okay, got a top three, and I think me and Dante's one and two are probably going to be the exact same. Yep. So, <sighs> well, you quit. Matt just moaning in the mic. So whoever's <laughs> listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody's listening. He ain't, yet. Do, he ain't doing it. <clears throat> oh, uh, why you do that, Jordan? How you feeling? How you feeling, bro? Oh uh, yeah. Big oh. hardball. Big Chargers guy. Ah. Eh? Uh, Ah, ah, that's the old man. Ah, ah. Romy, Rome is in the house. How it's you all right. I, uh, I'm just gonna ride <clears> the <throat> ride the wave of the natty and prepare for a long season next year. Man, but, you saying like you should be like, hey, bro, listen. No, nah. Harbaugh's a great coach. Appreciate what he, he did, is. but we'll be back next year. He is, but fuck him. <laughs> it's not like he went to Ohio State. I forgot something I saw. He left. I don't give a fuck where he went. Unless he went to <laughs> Pittsburgh, I don't care. What you see, cuz? Some rumblings of. And he's taking the D.C. with him. Royal Rumble. Jesse Minter ain't signed yet, but he's leaving too. You got Sharon. He's a O.C. Yeah, as head coach, though. Yeah. We need a D.C., though. Yeah, you'll hire that. But I'm saying, like, Harbaugh's gone, but Sharon won game. They're fucked, dude. He beat, yeah. he beat Ohio State. <clears throat> I agree with Matt. I saw uh, Saquon Barkley to the Bears a couple times. Mm. Along with DJ and Marvin Harrison Jr. That'd be good and offensive And Caleb threats. Williams? I saw Justin Fields. I mean, Jordan would say, who's going to help? Who's no, they took the ball? <coughs> Marvin Harrison. I, listen, I think they're keeping Justin Fields. I think they are. They should, I think. I hope they're not, so he comes to us. That's weird. Because there's rumors now that um, Cliff Kingsbury isn't going to the, the Bears anymore. So, Caleb Williams, Cliff Kingsbury, obviously they have ties together. Caleb Williams declared. He wanted to know if they were trading that pick before he declared. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, man. Signs are starting to port to, uh, point towards them drafting Marvin, letting Caleb Williams go to the Patriots or the Commanders. Rondo looks wild in his picture. I know that you said that a while ago, but yeah, bro. Rondo looks wild. I pulled. I just looked up Rondo mugshot. All right, so introduce your game, Jordy. Let's go. So, pretty much Matt and Derek, I want you guys to name who you think <coughs> your Matt top five are for Coach of the Year this year. <laughs> not just your, not overall who you think is the best coach, Coach of the Year this year. Who would your top five be? Um. Mm. I know my my top two. I don't know if Matt will agree. I Hit me. Kevin Stefanski and D'Amico Ryan should be one and two, in my opinion. I agree. I think Stefanski just because of the quarterback. Regular, <coughs> regular play, season, right? Yeah, regular, regular season. season. So nothing with playoffs. Yeah, Coach of the Year is a regular season award, they say. I think Dan Campbell uh, is in the top five as well. He's three. Okay. To um, me. I like that for three. Yeah. You need what, some other ideas? You're going to put McCarthy in there? Regular season. Yeah. He was good. Were they right? win 12 games? Yeah. Um... I don't mind LaFleur either. I was going to say you got Harbaugh Matt LaFleur, in there. Yeah. You got LaFleur, Harbaugh, Tomlin. Still win 10 and 7. Todd Bowles was expected to finish last, basically. Oh, yeah. That, that's division. the Buccaneers coach, right? Yeah. He's, Todd Bowles. Yeah. I throw him in the five. Last. I think he should be up there because <clears throat> I, in the beginning of the season, I was going to bet them to win the division. It was like plus 600. Yeah. I should have. So I should have trusted Baker. So who's three, four, and five for you then? You got Stefanski <laughs> and then Ryan's. Who are you going three, four, and five? I got Ryan's, then Stefanski. Yeah, okay. So, our one and two. Yeah, interchangeable. Interchangeable. I got Dan Campbell at three. I have Campbell at three. Okay, four and five. And then I would probably go... I would probably go the... Um, I don't I don't I'm, mind LaFleur. I would say LaFleur at five and uh, Todd Bowles, Bowles at, at four. four. I don't mind that. I like that top five, actually. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't have to go past five because you named the guy that a lot of people weren't. I was going to say <clears throat> LaFleur isn't in a lot of people's top five. For they the weren't supposed the to be year. good at all. They weren't. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year. And I know you're not supposed to count playoffs, but just look at it like he made the playoffs. Their weapons left. Rodgers no, left. Not a single Pro Bowler on the team. They didn't have anybody make the Pro Bowl. Jair didn't? Nobody. Oh, he was injured a little bit. They had nobody make the Pro Bowl. And who's their receivers? Yeah, Christian Watson, and then before the season, Romeo could you name Dobbs. anybody Dobbs, outside of Christian Jay Watson? Reed, yeah, Reed's a rookie. I <laughs> I think I only could because my brother's like a diehard Packers fan. This dude would play the franchise and be like, "This dude's nasty." I'm like, 
he's a 68 overall. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I mean, outside of you look at, you know, Aaron Jones, obviously, they have some guys on defense, Jair Alexander. Um, they had a pretty decent defense, like with they the don't have players. stars. No, why are you know staring I mean? like that? They didn't have a ton of superstars. They don't have any he pro horny. bowlers. Uh, to, it's Jordan. What? What's funny? <laughs> I just need you to do one thing for me, bro. What? What? Give us some fucking energy, bro. <laughs> I do drove me over there like oh, man, bro, cow. All right, Dante, I'm back to you now. <laughs> no, bro, keep going. I, was I just don't got laughing. nowhere else to go. I was. <laughs> you were in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, keep I, going. I lost what I was talking about. You see it's that energy? Fucking gone. You see that energy? That's it's what I'm gone. Wanting. It's gone. I don't know what I was talking <laughs> it's about. It's Matt's fault. He was, wanted to call me out. I was Dante's laughing like. <laughs> I thought he was falling in love. Cause like, Jordan, what the hey, fuck bro, are you looking like, at? It's like his voice is low key like huh? mesmerizing me because I'm just like <laughs> it never changes tone. <laughs> he never breaks that one decibel. He was like, like on defense, you got Jair Alexander. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Rashawn another. Gary. <laughs> yeah, guy I was trying Michigan. to say Rashawn Gary, but, but I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> I mean, a lot of... A that, lot of hey, that adds to your point. They, they yeah, got they, people they you got don't nobody. even know. <laughs> they got Quay yeah. Walker. Yeah. They got they got a lot of decent talent over there, but... Um, but they went 9-8, and eight, finished second in the North, so... That's pretty good. Now, Matt LaFleur deserved to be in the defense... I mean, defense player in your conversation. The coach of the year conversation. <laughs> he definitely did. Yo, it's hot as fuck in here. There's today. a lot of coach of the years in the previous years that aren't that great head coaches. Like, do you think Brian Dayball is a good coach? Who? Brian Dayball. Who? <laughs> that Apparently his? not. Dayball. Who? <laughs> Dayball. The Giants coach? Dayball, Dayball, whatever. The Giants Dayball, coach? Yes. Dayball. Okay. Little diddler. Mike Vrabel just got fired. I think he's I think he's a decent coach. He's a great coach. <clears throat> oh yeah. I think uh, Kevin Vrabel's Stefanski coach. won it in twenty twenty. About to win the game. I think in he's twenty twenty three. John Harbaugh twenty nineteen, I think he's good. Matt Nagy in twenty eighteen. <laughs> The Bears went 12 and 4. Which I was about to say, the record. Bears won 12 games, bro. But Matt Nagy as a coach? Nah. Listen, Trash. he's the coach of the best team in the NFL. Let's Sean just McVay? Be real. I think he's a good coach. Great coach. Yeah. Jason Garrett. Mr. Fuck Clap on the sideline for you. He sucks. What'd they go that year? 12 wins? Yeah, uh, probably. 13 and 3. 13. I mean, let's be real. This award is low key like MVP. A lot of times it just goes to who's at the helm of the best team. Yeah. Yes and no. Yeah. Like. Um, and then you have, I'll just. It should be more situational you just got to it. Ron yeah. Rivera, Bruce Arians, and Ron Rivera again. Ron Rivera won Coach of the Year twice with the Panthers. Yes, 2013. Okay, 20, they went 15 well, and one. Think. 2013, 12 and four. Oh, so 2015, 15 and one. So they were just dominant. Who will wait? All right. The 15 and one season, I understand, but I can't remember. The 12 that. and four. Yeah, I, think, I, I don't remember how. Was that, that his went. rookie year? Maybe. Right? I think that was his rookie year. Yeah, Who, he Cam, did go to Cam the Super Bowl Cam young. Newton's rookie year. Yeah, he not, did go to the Super Bowl pretty young. So okay, I just I, that was a shocker to me, bro. I didn't know Ron Rivera won Coach of the Year twice. Bruce Arians twice as well. <coughs> Bruce Arians is a dog, though. I agree. Sorry. All right. Don't, uh, uh, go ahead. Derek, what uh, was this? Uh, uh, you sent us a bet slip. Oh, so and I see the last leg is Detroit Lions money. Oh, pain! Do you know oh, who I that seen is? It. Yeah, that's Josh. We need him talk about it. <sighs> yeah, dog. He, he showed me that, and I was like, damn. Twenty-five to twenty-eight thousand dollars missed it because of Dan Gamble, and just he mm. had Detroit money line. I'm, I'll probably out, put it on brother. the screen, but oh, if you're just a... listening, you can't see it, bro. It's all like all they this needed, long. All they <laughs> needed <laughs> was, was the screen, dude. And ESPN bet. I don't think they have cash outs for bonus. Well, bets. it was a bonus. They did, bet. They you can't, can't no, cash a bonus. Bet so no, he was, on, on even no if apps. He, <laughs> look at look at this. I did. I just opened it. That's crazy. Yeah, I'd be in hell today. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I would be in hell today. Yesterday no. and today. No, I'd still be in hell today. I'd be in hell tomorrow. Oh, I'd be pissed off. I'd be pissed off. It won't let me open this mugshot. Um, I do have a quick game though. If you guys want to play it, yeah, let's, let's do it. it. We got a couple more minutes um, before we get out of here. Because I'm hot. It's an NFL game, you guys. Yeah, let's kind of here early for once. This one's gonna be hard a little ah. bit. I'm hot. You, that wasn't on me, was it? I didn't. I just heard ah. The camera wasn't on me though, was it? No. Thank God. He's reading his game. Yeah. Almost He's fucking killed myself. <laughs> Anyways, just rudely interrupted. Yeah, I put no. my fist on my headphone as I was <clears> fucking asshole. Um, bro, whatever. Not my bad. Did I yank you? Um, the most. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did that just to fuck with you. Okay, go ahead. So this one's gonna be hard. So we'll we'll Soft. still go in order, but I'm gonna give you guys some hints because you're not gonna know some of these names. The but dude in the last game said, "Why are you giving them hints?" 
It's interesting. Well, this one's going to be harder than all the other ones. All right. Most rushing yards by a wide receiver in their career. Top 10. Oh, oh But uh, think, hold on. I'll give you, you guys know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A most, decent amount of yeah, these players. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're good. Most rushing yards by a receiver in their, in their career. Okay. So this also counts as a receiver turned running back. I think you know <coughs> Cordell that is, Patterson. But yeah, Cordell, he's um he's three. Patterson is three. So So like has, Ty Montgomery was technically a I receiver. I think he went running back receiver. No, so, he went receiver running back because okay. he was number eighty eight in the backfield. Oh yeah, you're right. Good call. <coughs> Patterson had one thousand and seventeen rushing yards. Is Ty Montgomery on there though? He's on that list, but he's not in the top ten. Oh, okay. Cool. He only had um forty nine Games played and only 522 rushing yards. Oh, okay. So, number one Holy has 1,300 shit. and basically 13 10 from a receiver. And 10th has 715. Percy Harvin. No. Oh, well, yes, he's on the list, but I was thinking for the guy that last. Percy Harvin has 927. He is sixth. Eighth. Oh, sixth. I was Close guessing. enough. All right. So, we got Cordero and Percy Harvin. This, the camera's been on that, <coughs> actually, so it worked out. Matt got two of them. All right, get get them out the way. Is Debo in there? I don't yeah. think you guys have 100 that quick. Debo yeah. is fourth all time. Wow, with already. 1,007 only. Wow, thousand only 10 already. behind Patterson. Dang. I mean, they have that Debo package. He just hasn't been in the league that long yet. That's why no. I don't think it was like. It, yeah, I agree. He's played 66 games. Patterson has played 127. Yeah, like, damn. Like the, it, I know he does get the ball in the backfield a lot, but like. Number two all time has thirty two games played, so it's holy shit. I'll give you a hint on him later. So okay, let's keep going. Think um, of I don't want to give you a hint. <clears throat> don't give us a hint yet. Let just us wait. Let me cook. Um, receivers two current for sure. One still might be current. I am not sure if he retired yet. Is Tyreek on there? Tyreek is number nine. Oh, good guess. Because you know, jet sweeps like if they're forward and stuff. Like sometimes they count as like a pass. pass. Yeah, that's seven hundred and sixty six. That's why I wasn't sure. There's gonna number ten. You guys, I don't think will guess, but he's a current player. A current player. Yeah, he's on a team that just doesn't do anything. <laughs> mm, let me think. Let me think. Like the Cardinals, Hollywood Brown. No, similar colors, but not Hollywood Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying similar color. Like he's a black. Oh dude. my god. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> similar colors that way as well. So, there's your hint. There we go. I'm sorry, bro. He's black and he plays on a red team. I'm a child, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who else is red? The Cardinals, the Chiefs, the Niners. But he said the team don't do nothing. Yeah. So it's not those teams. The Buccaneers. What about Ray Ray McLeod? Ray Ray McLeod is not on this list. That was was high risk, high reward. (laughs) Two of you guys, three of us, all four of us should have watched this player in our division as well. So it's not, this isn't, isn't the guy that played for the red team. So it's another hint. We all watch this guy in our division. Like Hollywood Brown. In our division. Played his career in our division. I don't think he went anywhere else, really. On our teams? One of our teams. Fuck. Josh Cribbs? Josh Cribbs. Number seven all time. I didn't think he was going to be on this list. I'm going to be honest with you. (laughs) Um, Number ten. He's in the NFC least. Hmm. Current? Current. That's the, the current guy for the red team. So what team is red in that division? What is it? Kind of red, maroon-ish. What? Oh, the commanders. The commanders. Oh. Do you even... You Curtis got, Samuel. Curtis Samuel, number 10. I didn't think anyone had 100 guesses. I don't think anyone's going to guess if Curtis you Samuel. you us a hand and just threw out guesses, I would have No one was going to guess Curtis Samuel. Never but he's, he's 10 with 715 rushing yards you guys are missing number one and number two number one should be a gimme they were kind of roasting you guys for the brett Favre not picking them yet i'll give you guys a couple more guesses and i'll give you one hint and you're going to know instantly who it is for what he's not active right number one or is he he um this is the guy that i said he still might be active (coughs) i know he ain't playing in games but he might have retired as well so he's like older and he's not getting playing time for the most part Mm. Yeah, we're about to get flamed. Yeah, um, yeah. somebody that we're forgetting. <sighs> yeah, somebody we're forgetting. When we play Ran these games the before y'all roast lot. us, bro, like we give don't give me like know a less likely, a less 
likely hint? A less likely hint, like something. Like a Pro Bowler a bunch of times? Like star? Did he win a Super Bowl? Mainly special teamer. Known for a special team. Is Dante Hall on that list? I was going to guess Dante Hall a little bit ago. Um, Good guess, but he's not on this list. He's Mainly not. a special team. <clears throat> small guy. Speedy small. Tavon Austin. There we go. I, I was didn't gonna think say, he was going to be on there. I'm I was going to say college. Yeah. Best college. Uh, yeah, I like don't to. say that. It's over. You want to know something? I really didn't. Like, I was like, bro. Like, I didn't think he played enough to, like, really get. Like, Man, that motherfucker was a dog. He had 100. In college. No, like, he was sweet. With I don't them. even remember, <clears> like, really go, like, going crazy. Like, he he was probably so had a lot of jet sweeps. With the real. Rams, right? Yeah. I was gonna, He's drafted by the Rams, right? Yeah, I think so. Um. 199 attempts for 1,361 yards. Yeah, hey, y'all can so go ahead and play me. I didn't think Tavon was going to be on there for real. Um, I don't think you guys right, are going to So what are we missing? Of, uh, number two, five, and eight. None of them currently. None of them even have a picture of them. Oh, shit. Nor they play anymore. Steve Antoine Randall. Well. No, neither. <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh. know who number five is. Initials are BS. Oh, Brandon Stokely. No. Bullshit. Brad? Oh, Brad, Brad Smith. Smith. He Brad went to Smith. fucking Cheney. <laughs> I, oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Put some fucking respect on Brad Smith's name. By the way, we Brad said Smith, that number five. Uh-huh. We said that at the same exact time. Number two, all time, LM are his initials. Latavius Murray. 32 <laughs> games played total, 210 attempts, 1,158 rushing yards. LaMarcus. Lenny Moore, which... I don't expect you guys to know who that is. <coughs> and number eight is Joe Morrison. Who's that? I don't know. But Adam. Joe Morrison is at number eight. That's Steve Largen's cousin. Adam Morrison's cousin. So Adam I just Morrison's wanted to, some quick trivia of just random dudes having random stats. Hey, did, did that dude message you back yesterday on Instagram? Like, did he comment back to you? Oh, he did. Um, I thought about that on my way up because I was reading it. What did he say? What'd he say? I wanted to say, Dante, is the man is, fill in the blank? Is the man re- I have to cut that out. <laughs> big, no, big I'm Ed. quoting somebody. Hey, Big Ed. Yeah. Go ahead. Goodbye, Matt. All right, Matt's Matt's dipping out, but I'll I'll oh. kind of talk about um what we can do a versus game. We can do a versus game, but I want to quickly talk shit to this guy. Um, shout out to you. Give me some smoke. Give me some smoke, dude. With 26 followers and a private account, Zer Dork. Zer1999 King, shout out to you. Dork. Um, we were arguing about Markel Fultz. Um, I said, did you think he was going to be great? And he turned out not to be. He was the number one overall pick. And he said, basically, take him off that list, right? Something like that. Yeah, because the, so real quick, the um, the caption of the video and what I asked in the video were low-key two different things. So we were, a lot of us were having two different arguments, like, the caption said biggest bust Mm -hmm. but in the video i said or somebody who you thought would be way better than what they turned out to be like markel Foles. i wouldn't consider him well well, i mean he's kind of yeah i thought i thought that was more of a personal question yeah like like you thought devin bush people that you thought were gonna be sweet yeah and didn't end up yeah like devin bush ain't a bust but you thought he would be way better than what he is that's accurate he's a bust but he's not like considered a Huge, like one of the biggest butts of bust. No, of he was all not time. expected to see, see a franchise changing. Player. Right. I look yeah. at bust as like, like I told him, he said draft picks don't matter. That's a lie. When I, you're drafted in the top five, that team is thinking you are going to change their franchise. You are a franchise changing player being drafted in the top five. Sometimes they just take best available, understandable. Draft might not be that good. But you telling me that Philly taking Mark Helfold's number one overall, they didn't have it in their head like this dude is going to help get us over that hump. I have something to say, too. I just can't get over it. Go ahead. When you text or comment something and mm. you make every word in your paragraph and sentence capitalized, like beginning word, beginning letter of that word, I mean. I'm going to say, I do so, that? No, this oh. guy does it. Like, I'm say, every I single that. word, not even if it's the start of the sentence. Or yeah, not, not even if every it's the, every, every first letter of a word is capitalized. So it's like like he's you know saying how, like, a title of a game. You know twice, it does it automatically? Yeah. Maybe he does that? No, there's no double space. I was about to say, when you double space, it adds a period on mine. But oh, what Dante yeah, was saying was, this guy said it, I'll quote him, being drafted high or low means nothing to me, or in reality, you can go, you can go to the right team where you belong or the wrong team where you don't. And then he's saying... And then read my response to that. Dante said, it may, it may mean nothing to you, 
But in the world of sports, a top five pick is supposed to be a franchise changing regardless of the situation. I agree. Then he replies, yeah, it's a lot of faking and favoritism. First off, what the fuck does that mean? So what he's saying is, is like, if you look at that same draft, Lonzo Ball. Did Lonzo deserve to be second? Yeah, Some he, people will say no, but when Lonzo Ball got into the NBA... When he played, he was... He turned out to be a very good basketball player. He just player. got injured. But some would argue he was drafted second to the Lakers because of big baller brand. His dad, you know, being like, my son's going to the Lakers. But looking at it now, should you have drafted Fox instead? Sure, obviously. But Fox wasn't that guy in college. I'm a Kentucky fan. Also, he wasn't that guy. Lonzo's Lee better Monk than Markel. Guy. Lonzo is better. He's had a better but, career. Uh, than yeah. With, while being hurt yeah. and not being there. Um, it, so he said, faking and favoritism too. I don't care what you say unless you, you was the one walking in them shoes and you never did and never will. And so, you're saying the same thing. Like you comment on it too. He's you acting walk in like shoes. he, yeah. So I'll be for real. <laughs> like he was a draft pick. So I was like, a lot of faking what? Question mark. Did you ever walk in those shoes? Will, will you ever? If the draft doesn't matter, then why don't they just have free agency for the upcoming college players? Facts. Um, and then he replied to that exact comment and my other one, that exact comment that I mentioned, he said, exactly. That's what they need to start doing. You should, what you, you see what's been going on with school included and they probably are in the future. To quote, that's he's the, probably, I think he's trying to say like they should do a free agency for rookies and that's probably what they'll do in the future. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either. So first, no. Nah. You couldn't, you couldn't that's, win that argument. You can't win that argument. argument against him because he agreed with my dumb take is yeah, what I was doing. that's why I stopped messaging, like, stopped commenting back to him. I'm like, okay, this is never going to end. Also, I gave stats of the last, since 2000, the first overall picks, excluding Markel Fultz, their average stats mm -hmm. and, like, their all-stars, everything. Since 2000, 17.4 points, 6.9 rebounds, 3.5 assists. And 3.3 .3 All-Stars, 2.2 .2 All-NBA teams per player. Well, he's you know, got none average. of the above. The only thing he is beating currently, he's averaging five assists in his career, I think. Mm -hmm. 3.5 is for everyone else. Yep. So, And you got to think, there was a lot of busts since 2000. Well, most of first overall picks aren't point guards. You either, got so that's Bennett, you not. got Odin, you got Kwame Brown. Yeah. Three right there. Bam. Yep. Like, they didn't play long enough to have those good stats. And that's also including Wemby. That's including... Um, Who's the first pick before Wemby last year? Chet. I for Chet. That's like how you looked at me like I was gonna <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> That's including those two people where you know they're not gonna have all stars already. Right. They're not gonna have those right. those crazy stats. And what he said, ain't no defending him. I just don't I just don't know him. I don't know him. Y'all act like he is nothing, like he can't do nothing. His stats aren't the best, but it ain't just nothing. Bro, but the thing is, like, like don't say nothing. The point. It's saying that he didn't live up to the potential. Yeah, don't just he erase the argument. Anyways, and, I was like, just pissed off about that. Guy. Yeah, but like, my dude's taking a pencil and just erasing an argument, making it sound like we just said, like, like we were like, Markel Fultz isn't a good basketball player. No, in the context of the video, we are asking, who <laughs> did you think would be good that turned out not to be good? Johnny Manziel is an example of that. Jalil Okafor, Jimmer Ferdet. Those dudes didn't end up having the careers we thought that they would have. Simple as that. We're not saying these dudes are not good. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Markel Fultz, if he was the 31st pick, I mean, if he was a second round pick, first, first pick, pick in the second round, That's a good and pick. he's averaging 10 points, you're like, damn, okay, we kind of got to steal out of this guy. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, Draymond and Green was a second pick. That was a hell, I mean, the second round pick. That's yeah. a hell of a steal for him. Nobody thought being drafted in the second round that he would be defensive player of the year, four time champion, no. this many all stars. Like, you don't have those expectations as a second rounder. But yeah. when you're the first overall pick, yeah. you have expectations, You buddy. have those expectations. You're a franchise-changing guy. Like, that's what it is. Simple. Who's a franchise-changing Markel Fultz. Yeah, so I, I just kind of wanted to go <laughs> I wanted to go over that. Ah, the guy was oh, you was going at that dude? Yeah, we were talking oh, yeah, about yeah. Shout out to him. Get your followers up, cuz. Yeah, but I mean, listen, man. We don't want to <laughs> argue with you guys in the comments, man. We just want to have nice, light conversations. You know, you guys don't have to call us the R word. You know, we don't got to be uh, that the black man. dude's a moron and a half. Uh, you know, like stuff like that. Just be nice, Nick, man. Why is that black dude's man. sleeve so big? Like Big Jeff Gordon <laughs> sleeve guy. So did you... 
I mean, we don't have a lot hey, of time Hey, you guys left. remember when Dante said he was done arguing in the comments at, after the new year? Hey. I said I was done being mean in the comments. <laughs> some people just get You're to not. You. You know what I'm, I'm done being mean in the comments. I'm just now having a nice, true. objective conversation. I think we got to go back to the episode because I think he said I'm done commenting back. We don't have a lot of time left, but I know you guys had some games if you wanted to run through them. I don't have one. <clears throat> Jordan, don't you have No say, games I, over here, cuz. I do want one if we'll probably just go Derek, Dante, Matt, and then back. Okay. Right. It's a top 10. Okay. Okay, let's, let's get it. it. Go. So. So this is not year, a free for all. Who's it on? Me. It'll Derek. be Derek first. <coughs> Go. Sorry. This season. Paul George. I mean, we've seen the graphic. Uh, I think it was last week. It was five days in a row. Somebody had scored over 60 points in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Facts. So I wanted to do. It's actually a top nine, but there's a bunch of people tied. The most points in a single game in NBA history. All you have to do is give me a player. But once you get one player, he's off for. You know, like I, Wilt. certain play. Yeah, he's on there for <laughs> yeah. five times. Gotcha. So, like, you can't say Wilt five different times. Okay. okay. So, so top ten. I'll cherry pick and get the easiest one. Wilt. Cool. Yeah, and Wilt is number one, tied f- or num- number one, number three, number four. Don't say one with a hundred because that didn't happen. Hey, there, if there's <laughs> no agree. footage, I ain't believe it. It didn't happen. So my kid, <laughs> okay. I'm So then, <laughs> I guess he's two, three. He's number three twice. Um, seven. Okay, his hundred didn't count. You. All right, uh, number two, Kobe Bean Bryant. Kobe, he Kobe is number 81. two. Uh, Joel Embiid is not a top. I'm going top nine because it goes from nine to thirteen. Wait, but he's wait, not. It's it's not seventy point it's games. Everybody's it's most tied at nine. So instead of going to thirteen, the people that are tied at nine, it's still That's it's more than ten time. players. Does that make sense? It's 10 players, not the top 10 in rank, because people are tied. Gotcha. So, like, you have five or four players so, tied for four. So, give, give me the four n- players tied for ninth. That, that number, whatever that tied for ninth so is. So, 71 like two. is ninth. Okay, 71 is ninth. So, you missed it by one point. So, you missed it by one point, yeah. is what he's saying. I know. I'm Joel with you. I was is, the same way. He's tied for 13th, technically. Mm. Okay. So he's not in the top ten. Wow. Okay. That's what he's saying. Well, Wait. What did he have? Seventy. Seventy. Oh, I thought so he had one seventy-one. Point away. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Devin Booker. <laughs> I okay. thought Joel Embiid had seventy-two. Well, you missed. I guess you missed twice. But I already said Devin Booker. Devin, Devin Booker, Booker had seventy-one. He had seventy. Yeah, he had seventy. I think. Oh, I thought oh. he had seventy-one too. Um, that, was my, that was my next guess. Thank you. Go sorry. Ahead. Fuck. <laughs> because Donovan Mitchell had seventy plus. Just say. Was it plus or no? I don't know. Say it. Give me Donovan Mitchell. So he yeah, had 72. 71. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's who had 71 then. I knew it was right there. I thought so, Devin Booker yeah. too. Um, Luca. Luca, 73. That was a part of the, in the last five days, these many people. Yeah. 73, fourth overall. And that's where the list gets scary. Is there more? Yeah. I'm still confused. You have. He said Wilt had one, four, five, six. <laughs> Like he's on the list multiple times because he scored seventy three twice. Oh, so he's like tied with other people. Seventy two, yeah. Oh, all right. I think it's going to be a Spitfire. So I think you we're have people. Michael Jordan. No, <laughs> Michael Jordan had seventy. Dame. Dame had seventy one. Dame was seventy one. Um, David Robinson. Seventy one. Oh, he beat Shaq. Shout and yeah, seventy three. Yep, to get the scoring title. Yeah, so you good. have one person left. Matt, we need one, buddy. In 1960. Oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> 1960? 1960, 1960 bro. 71 points. Okay, he didn't play in 1960. Wait, no, he didn't play that long ago. 1960? Um, I'm going to get roasted for yeah. this because I don't remember. What, no, he played in the 90s. Hall of Famer? No, that's not him. If you give me initials, I might know. It's not BK, is it? No. Okay. It's not BR. <laughs> I wanted to say this dude, but I'm like, I'm going to get Rose because I think he played in the It 80s. happened in a Lakers versus Knicks game. Lakers, mm. Knicks. Who did he play for? No. Fuck. Who Wilt's you, already off. Wilt? What's his initials? Oh, I didn't know somebody said Wilt. I was trying to give you like the one or two. I know. <coughs> 1960s. Jerry West. No. Did Jerry West play in the 60s? Was it on the Lakers or the Knicks? You don't know. I know. Oh. But I wasn't trying to give you. Walt Frazier. No. I have another player. Can I guess another player? Dude, Dude, guess bro. whatever the We're fuck. Did James Harden ever have? No. Okay. You only got this one is left, it. and he played in 19. Oh, this is the last one. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, are you uh, listening? Uh, no, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Give me his initials. I got it. Jerry E-B. Huh? E-B. Elgin Elgin Baylor. Baylor. Yes. Yep. 
He yeah. had 71. So I'm that's fried. The, I'm like, EB. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't know ball to So run down that list real quick. So you had Wilt arguably at one with 100. Yeah. Kobe at one. Kobe <laughs> at two with 81. Technically Wilt both at my three with it. 78. Wilt at four twice with 73. And Luca and David Thompson. Wilt at eight with 72. And then Donovan Mitchell, Elgin Baylor, David Robinson, and Damian Lillard at nine with 71. Anybody say Thompson? Shut up. We got it. I didn't think so. No, we didn't say David Thompson. Hey, or Dante. Or Matt, since you fucked up, say David Thompson for the TikTok. Because we never, no one said David Thompson. So yeah, I for the TikTok, I read be, it like, wrong. be like, David Thompson? You thought it was David Robinson? Yeah, I read it. I was like skimming through. Yeah, it's David Thompson. Say it. Say it like you guess. I just did. You're acting. You're listen. You made fun of my acting. Act. Hey Jordan, uh, <laughs> David Thompson. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Number At four, four. seventy three. Because I need it. I need it for the TikTok. Hey, I can't just be like we, we missed one. We are the worst actors of all time. That hey. was good acting. They started laughing. All right, guys. <laughs> that one was. <laughs> that's all for another oh, episode. Break room. Yes. Like, share, subscribe, please. <laughs> Hey, can y'all start doing us a favor? When we post uh, videos on Instagram and uh, TikTok, can y'all do us a favor? Would you mind, like, sharing those for us? Like, if you like a video and you, like, interact with us, put it on your story. You know, comment to it. Like, it takes nothing to just add it to your story real quick. I don't I don't even care if you share it. Just comment, comment so I can talk to you. Yeah, for sure. Comment. We're we are for sure. Band on TikTok. Anyway. Goodbye, guys.